My name is Cara Mia, and I am the marketing manager for Craft Lake City. This is the fifth annual Craft Lake City, which marks the first year of two-day festival. We have over 200 vendors, artisans, exhibitors, sponsors, vintage vendors. Craft Lake City for me is a way to showcase the talents and the hidden gems that are all throughout Salt Lake. Provo, Logan, St. George. I love what I do because of the reaction from people and it's worth it to see the smiles on people's faces when they show up and see the empty booths and they stop and they look at their area and they think, okay, for the next however many hours they spend in this booth, that's their space and they've been given this area to showcase themselves and what they do and their talents and it's, it's nice to know that I played a part in that and that instead of you know, them trying to just do it on the internet or through social media or something. Craft Lake provides an outlet for them that exposes them to thousands of people. Craft Lake City for me is a way to channel the creativity that I wish I had and watch it come out through other people. I love Craft Lake so much. It's extremely humbling. Being able to be on the production side of things and seeing what not only goes into it in order to set it up, but to experience what the artisans go through in getting to this day. My name is Carolyn Frazier and I am the store marketing specialist at the Whole Foods Market, Trolley Square. And we are the presenting sponsor this year for Craft Lake City 2013. And I'll tell you, it is a great honor and a great privilege to be able to be involved with such a great community partner. Being involved with Craft Lake City is really just falls perfectly in line with the core values of Whole Foods Market. It's really exciting for us to be a part of it. But it's also a way for us to really dig into the community and to give back to the community. So we're very excited about a 5% day that will be happening for Craft Lake City, which allows us the chance to really let people in Salt Lake City know that, hey, we want to develop win-win partnerships with Slug Magazine and Craft Lake City and other community events that take place. This was an awesome event. It was very fun. It was well attended and it's just the perfect fit for Whole Foods Market Trolley Square. We'll look forward to next year. I'm Nathan McGee, I'm the uh, Director of Social Media and PR for Cricket, and we're here at Craft Lake City uh, showing people what the Cricket machine can do. Well, last year I came out to Craft Lake City and I saw just kind of what was going on here at Salt Lake, and I, I loved it. I thought it was amazing to see all the local artists, and I thought, you know what, uh, I work at a crafting company, it'd be great to get in touch with the Craft Lake City people. Well, we really enjoyed being part of Craft Lake City. It's great to see the creativity and excitement that people bring to this event. It's also great to see the excitement and, and energy that the attendees bring and the, the excitement they see of seeing what creativity exists here in Utah. My name is Kirk Brown. I work for Go Engineer. Go Engineer is a reseller of SolidWorks, which is a 3D CAD design tool. And we also sell uh, rapid prototyping machines. So. All the 3D printers you've been hearing about, that's what we do. We sell the machines, we help engineering firms improve their products with their CAD tools and with rapid prototyping their designs. How did I get involved with Craft Lake City? Angela came to us last year and said that we're doing a bunch of engineering work and wanted to know if we'd be interested. We tried it last year. It seemed like uh, there was a lot of people that we're just learning about 3D printing, so it would be cool to bring our 3D printers down here to Craft Lake City and show it off and educate people. Man, Craft Lake's great. Everybody should do it. <laughs>
Angela H. Brown. I'm the executive director of Craft Lake City. And we're here at the fifth annual DIY Festival presented by Whole Foods Charlie Square. And today has just been amazing. It's the second day. We're in kind of the last few hours of the festival. And we made Craft Lake City history this weekend. We moved the DIY Festival from a one day to a two day format. And it's been a really fantastic, incredible experience for the team, for the vendors, for the community. I'm so happy with not only the turnout of quality performers, musicians, artisans, exhibitors, science and technology enthusiasts, but also the public. The public really came out today and showed us that they want to see this kind of programming happening in our community. They want to see the DIY festival sustain itself and grow from year to year. This is the largest festival to date with over 25,000 people at least that have shown up so far. We have such a hard-working DIY community here. Um, I've been making my rounds talking with some of the exhibitors and yesterday was our first day. It was a Friday night. A lot of people did so well with their inventories that they literally went home um, around 11 o'clock after they broke down and had their cars loaded up and started creating more inventory to sell today on Saturday. And you can just see the passion the drive, the love for what they do. One of the things that I love about the DIY Festival is getting so many like-minded people in the same environment and all just getting together talking about creating and being inspired. I can't wait to see what happens to the attendees after experiencing this year's Craft Lake City. I can't wait to see how their visit at the 5th Annual Craft Lake City DIY Festival impacted their lives for the better and changed how they feel about themselves, about creating, um, about their own talent and, and feeling empowered about what they can do from seeing other people's work. And that's really what Craft Lake City is all about, is not only supporting local artisans who are doing it, but getting first time artisans out there to show the world their work and gain the confidence and learn what it takes in order to either start a new hobby and get positive reinforcement on that hobby so they continue to do that in their spare time or take that hobby to the next level and become an entrepreneur and a future local business owner.